so as uh, everybody understands there's kind of a drought going on this year and so <clears throat> trying to buy hay for our family or for our farm has been a little tricky so I found a little patch out here that we're going to try to rake and, and make a couple of bales it won't be enough but it'll get us a little bit closer to, to actually having some hay So this little, little tiny area is all I've got. Um, I'll talk more about mowing and stuff like that um, later. But for right now, I came out here with the, um, yeah, I came out here with the bush mower for, that's attached to our tractor. And I cut this down the other day. I'm gonna rake it up into uh, rows and then uh, just make sure that it's dry enough and then we'll figure out how to pick it up. I don't have a, a any way of bailing it at this point but I'm gonna figure something out and then we're gonna go from there so that's that's my goal today all right so that's a really small little area and it might net us a bale and a half or bale or two maybe maybe two small bales so I'm not expecting that they're actually going to be it's actually going to be really profitable. I expect that it'll be, you know, an experiment. So let me talk about um, about mowing. I hate mowing. <laughs> um, I know some people really love it and they like to get all the straight lines and everything. That's not me. It's just it's not who I am. I don't really even care. And if I could let our yard all of this grow up and go to seed and turn into a hay field, I would do it. The kids like to play out here, I understand that. And we have, you know, neighbors and stuff. And So it's not a hay field, it is our lawn, I guess. But the reality is that if I could make it a hay field, I would do it. I hate mowing for, because it's such a status symbol. It's such a, uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it's such a waste to mow because what are we using this gr grass for? I mean, yeah, okay, grass, it's green. It means it's turning back into oxygen and all that other good fun stuff. But what are we using it for? We're not. The kids play on it, yes. But as far as being productive, it doesn't get us anything. So I do have a goal. Um, because I hate mowing, or not necessarily because I, I it's not hate mowing, that it's, it's that I really think that the whole thing is a waste. I mean, you're gonna waste fuel on doing something that doesn't produce anything except oxygen for the planet, which is good, but so do, you know, if you're planting the area, it also produces oxygen for the planet, so that's good too. So my goal here is to plant most of this area. We've got our garden over there, um, which we're still working on. We've got our greenhouse down there, again, still working on. We've got a bunch of garden boxes around that do all kinds of different things. But the goal is to plant this area out here with mostly trees and bushes for some kind. I've got a couple of apple trees there. We're gonna try to plant a few, a few more next year and a few more. We're gonna do raspberries and strawberries. This whole area up at the top, across between the trees there, I plan on plowing up next year and using as a strawberry bed. But I want to be more efficient with the use of the land. Um, lawn looks pretty, but usable acreage should be used more properly. All right, so you might ask, well, why don't I just hay this field? Well, the reason I don't hay this field is because this is what we use for our pasture. Could I, you know, uh, set the... So could I set it up so that, you know, this part of the pasture... We, you know, block off from the goats for a while and let them just forage out in the woods and then hay this field. Yes, absolutely I could. And I may do that, but this would require, that would require that I actually come out here and actually plant some, something other than the weeds that are out here. Um, as you can see, what's sticking up out here is mostly weeds. Um, there's some grass out here, which is not as much as I got, had over in that other field, which is why I, I decided to try to hay that. Um, that was actually mostly grass, so give it a good try to 
So that was the plan there. This, the goats seem to forage on pretty well. Um, I cut it down a couple of times this year. Not enough, uh, there wasn't enough left over to try to turn into bales of hay, but I cut it down and then the goats seemed to like the green shoots versus the tough stuff that was at the top. Um, so that made it useful again. But yeah, we'll see what happens with this. But this may become more of a hay field as, as time goes on. There's also some spots down there. So another possibility is this little area right here. Um, other than the fact that it's got a tree that's down right there that we cut down the, uh, a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks ago now, um, <clears throat> that needs to be chopped up and, and moved. But this also might be a decent area for making, um, making hay. So that's a good possibility as well. Again, it's a lot of weeds. Now the trick here is, and I'm gonna walk back over here. This area here, it's a little hard to see, but this area here gets a lot of wildflowers, especially during the spring. And I wanna plant some more in here so that we get better wildflowers. But the reason I'm leaving this a little more wild is I'm planning on putting bee boxes, beehives, whatever, boxes, hives, whatever you wanna call them, over there. That's the plan for next year. Um, we're gonna get set up a bee, set of beehives we won't, obviously, I do understand that we won't get any honey the first year. It takes a couple, it takes a year or so. But I want to give them a good field with lots of flowers for, um, for that. So that's part of the other reason, you know, up here I'd like to have a bunch of wildflowers and stuff like that. Especially along the far side of the garden over there. That would be good to, for the bees. And obviously this whole, this kind of triangular is, place here between this tree right over here that one right there and like up there and I can't really point and the sun shining right in the camera so that doesn't work so well so this is a better angle so basically this area right in here is going to be our bee area or the area that we're going to have the wildflowers and stuff like that and more over here too just basically from this corner of the fence right here all the way down over to just kind of just that way downhill of where our chicken tractor is right now so that's our that's the plan to have a wildflower field there for the bees so yeah uh, hay is hard to come by this year that the last couple of, of um, places I had found had it for sale by the time I called them in the afternoon they were already out um, so it's hard to find our neighbors actually have some up in the field across the street. If I can ever catch them, maybe I'll see if I can buy a roll from them. That might be good, um, but I don't think, I think that they're serving, saving all of theirs for their cattle, um, which obviously is a problem. So yeah, I wanna use the land responsibly. I wanna use uh, what resources we have. And so part of that is trying to figure out the best way to manage our, our property, so. All right, so a last thought on mowing and haying and stuff. Um, this is all new to me. The mowing's not. We've mowed, the last house we mowed a huge amount of acreage and we were always struggling with finding different mowers that worked and so forth. And so that's part of the reason I'm not a big fan of it, I guess, because we were always struggling to find a mower that worked for us. and. It just feels feels like wasted time. And we can be doing better things with the land. So that's my thinking. That's where I am with this. Anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts. I mean, obviously, it's part of the reason we do this. We share this so that, you know, we can share what we're thinking. And you guys can come back and let me know what you're thinking about this. What do you think about mowing? What do you think about grass versus versus uh, <laughs> versus using the land. I, I don't want to <laughs> skew the results here. <laughs> I want to say using the land responsibly, but what do you think about grass versus planting stuff? Things like that. Um, anyway, I'd love to hear what you're thinking. You got thoughts, please leave them in the comments. Please like and subscribe, share this with people, and uh, we'll talk to you next time.